What's going on, YouTube, man? It's your boy, True Rod Gaming. Rod, I'll wrap it up for you. I don't show credit for you. I'm just going to get that shit to you, Rod, man. Today's video, uh, we're going to have a little talk about um, my issues with Ronner currently. Um, no script, just kind of kind of go off the top. Um, if you guys watch some of my streams or if you guys know me on the game, you guys play with me, you guys know uh, I actually do have a lot of things to say about this game. Um, even though I play this game a lot and I, you know, I do clips and all that stuff. Um, but I just have like a main set of issues that I have that are pretty recurrent and what I do have currently have problems with now. Um, all four of them on the list are the hero issues, uh, just in general, very, very big problem for me. Um, the revenge system, it just blows my mind of how bad and utter useless revenge is right now. Um, the contradicting nerfs, I'm going to explain all of these um, in a little more detail, but there are a lot of contradicting nerfs that I have a problem with. Um, and then the last one is just boring game modes in general. I'm just tired of the boring game, game modes in general. So we're going to start with the hero issues. Um, I have a problem with some of the hero issues in the game where... Uh, it just honestly feels like they don't even play their own game and they have these these god level expectations of us of playing some of these games um and i i i, I don't understand how we go from an entirely reactive based game for a very long time i don't even know exactly how long but a very long time to all of a sudden they want us to completely flip play a completely different game make everything unreactable and expect everything to be fine. I I don't know where they got that idea from. I don't know who came up with that idea. But obviously, you know, they thought that was a good idea, which is why I said at first, I don't think they play their own game. I'm referring to the CCU. Um I really honestly I'm referring to the CCU is before the CCU, I feel the game was, I personally feel the game was better because not only because I was really good before the CCU, but I felt that if you weren't actually good at the game, you, you, there, there was no way of, of beating around the bush. There was, there was no, no bullshit character you can pull out your ass and just not use your brain and win with, which is why it's going into the hero issues is, um, they did the CCU pretty much to make the players who really aren't that good and really who really don't play the game that much. They did it so they have a really good chance at beating someone who's played the game for a long time, who's memorized all the movesets, who knows the extensive combos that you can do and what you can and can't get out of, stuff like that. That's what the CCU was for. So my issues with the characters now is now because of that, they're making all the characters... um pretty much like you really don't need to think much and the characters are pretty easy to use and they're pretty dominant um and we've seen it time and time again season after season where there's a core of meta of characters where every match you join it's the same four four to six characters a game it's 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 literally the same four to six characters you will see both sides use the same four to six characters they won't even touch the other characters unless someone's just trying to do a challenge just trying to get their their steel or I don't know, maybe they just like the cosmetics on a different character or whatever. But essentially every time, every time, every season, there's usually like four to six characters that everybody uses. Um, and that goes into the hero issues because the characters are so easy to play. Why else would you want to play any other character? For example, Shigoki, before he got his nerf. He had the most health in the game. They gave him a sprint boost. Uh, he has hyper armor. He gets heals back on hug. Um, and his hitbox is huge. Why else would you play any other character? It, 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 you know what I'm saying? But before then, it used to be a trade-off. Yeah, you know, you're this big character who could do a lot of damage. But if you get into a match with people who actually know how to play the game, people who use other characters, you're not moving around too fast you're not going to be getting point a to point b 
too fast. Now he's literally the same speed as Shinobi, who which, which was one of the fastest characters in the game. He's literally, you know, he's up there now. There, there's there's no reason to not run Shogoki. It it really wasn't. You know, Raider. Raider's always been a good character. Don't get me wrong. But when they gave him hyper armor, oh wow, there's there's no reason to not play this character. He has 140 health, the most health in the game. Oh, he has hyper armor. He has an unreactable stun tap that could that could stun you and now you can't see. He has a double flip side uh, zone attack that's feignable. And he has no stamina issues. Why would I pick an assassin over Raider? It, it just, there's just no reason to do that. It, honestly, there is no reason to do it. And that's why people were picking these four to six characters. You got Raider, Shigoki, you know, et cetera. You guys know the main characters that everyone's picking, you know? I, I just I just don't understand, you know. I, that that's that's one of my my bigger issues, you know, as far as that. I, I just don't understand. Uh next we have the revenge system. Um I'm not gonna say I'm speaking for everybody, but I am speaking for a, a, a lot of people who play this game, whether you play this game every day, seldomly, you you you, you think you're a very competitive player. Or whether you're just a casual player, I honestly think I'm speaking for a lot of people when I say the revenge system is complete bullshit. It's it's a hundred percent bullshit. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It's bullshit. It is. It it makes absolutely no sense. It it makes no sense how the only mechanic in the game to stop you from getting ganked, which for people who don't play the game, ganked meaning jumped. You're getting jumped by multiple people. The only mechanic really in the game to help you and give you a fair shot of you being against three of the people who are equally or better skilled than you, in which in a purple situation, you should never come out of on top, actually, unless you're super, super good or you got super, super lucky. Um, It's a joke. It It's literally a joke. It used to be, well, oh, you know, if you get some parries and, you know, you're defending yourself, you're going to get something. Now it's. Oh, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to run away. Oh, he's going to hold you in place. And bam, you're dead. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, you're dead. There's there's just nothing. No, you're dead. No. Oh, you got a parry? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you, you're dead, dude. It's okay. Just go ahead and try again. Like, no. that That's <laughs> that's terrible. That's awful. It's That's honestly awful. Like, they... I think it's called the tag system or something like that. Like, it, it's completely stupid. It it's stupid. It allows it allows the person who's attacking you to dictate when you are allowed to defend yourself. Essentially, that's essentially what it's doing. It's allowing the person who's jumping you to dictate when you are allowed to defend yourself adequately. Let me put this into perspective. If you are on the street, right? Your name is Bob, right? And Joe is having an argument with you and you guys are about to fight. Now, Thomas comes behind you and hits you in the back with a bat. But you turn to face him. He takes off running. Oh, no, you still got to fight. You can't go chase that guy. So you go back to your fight. He comes back and hits you in the back again. Is that considered jumping? Or did you have a fair one-on-one? You see what I'm saying? That That's essentially what the what, what the tag system is. The person could literally hit you over and over again and decide, oh, I see you're going to get revenge. I'm just not going to attack you. That's complete bullshit. It, it, it's stupid. The damage has been done. You've already jumped me. You you clearly didn't give me a clear one-on-one. I, I mean, that's, that's, just, that's just basic knowledge that everybody knows. If you are fighting someone and someone decides to intervene and attack you, no matter how they did it or how many times they did it, they interfered with a fair one-on-one. Therefore, you should get a reward for defending yourself. I don't understand how they think that giving the power to the person attacking you is a fair advantage. It just makes no sense to me. I, I will never, never understand that. I get it. You know, the whole revenge attacks thing was probably a little, you know, too much. 
but to just rehaul the entire thing because people were getting revenge too easily. Especially now in the meta, where everybody has an unblockable, and that's all people are doing. I mean, literally, literally, you, you can watch half my clips, and if I'm jumping someone, I'm going to light and unblockable. Faint, light, and unblockable. And I'm, I may throw it, I may not. I may or may not throw it. But I guarantee if I land it, it's like almost 30 damage. Every time. Every time. 100%. It, it, it makes no sense to nerf the only aspect in the game. That's essentially what it is. It's nerfing the revenge. But you, it, it's like an indirect nerf, but you're nerfing revenge. And I always said, if you're going to do that, where now it, it's, it's on the attackers to determine if I get revenge, not, not only are you, you giving them the power to see when I get revenge, which is huge. That that's huge. I don't think they should see that. I think that's stupid. Um I think if you're jumping someone and you want to go jump someone, then you you need to just deal with whatever comes with that. It it is what it is. I mean this is for honor, I get it. It's a fighting game, yeah. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't jump, but if you're gonna jump, it, it should be some kind of equal playing field, especially if someone's good and they're defending themselves, they should be getting revenge. You should see when I'm getting revenge so you can go take off and run. That That's stupid. But as I was saying, if if we're going to have this system where revenge is, is pretty much in the power of the attacker, we need to bring back revenge attacks. That will balance it out. That will balance it out. I'm not saying give revenge attacks to every single character, but give revenge attacks back to the people who had it. That's what that needs to go to. Give it back to the people who had revenge attacks. That means pretty much the assassins, pretty much. Pretty much. Because honestly, there is no reason to play any assassin. I, I play Shinobi because I've been playing Shinobi for years. I have. I have. I mean, honestly, honestly, think about it. Think about it. How many times have you seen a Peacekeeper in a match? Very rare. How many times do you see a Shaman? Not too much. Orochi is starting to die down now because of the nerfs. How many people do you see play Nusha? None. There's no reason to play Nusha. I mean, honestly, think about it. Honestly, think about it. Why would you play? Why would you play a uh, Peacekeeper or Shaman over Raider? Why? No, honestly, ask yourself that. Why would you play Peacekeeper or Shaman or... Or anybody, or one of those assassins, or a raider. Why? Raider has more health. He does more damage. He moves just as fast. He has hyper armor. He has unblockables. He has an unreactable stun tap. And he has very, very good hitbox. He's very good at team fighting. Excellent pressure. Excellent stamina. Why would you use Peacekeeper? Over Raider. Doesn't make sense. And then if we're going to go into the revenge system, think about that also. Why would you have a Peacekeeper over Raider? If you had to, if you had the option of spawning in the game with revenge, would you pick Peacekeeper or Raider? You see where I'm getting at? This is all looping. It, it, the problems are all looping itself. The hero issues is bleeding off into the revenge system. That, that that's where that's where we're getting at. Then we have the contradicting nerfs. And and this is this is this is a, a big thing for me too. Because I'm an adamant Shinobi player. I play Shinobi a lot. And I swear it feels like the entire world is against Shinobi. But we do one thing to Shinobi and then you flip around and give it to someone else. I I don't understand that. So here's my thing. <clears throat> Follow me here. Back in the OG Shinobi, when everybody said Shinobi was overpowered because he had hyper armor on a kick or whatever, blah, blah, blah. They took away the hyper armor. All right, cool. But then the next character is Hidokiri, who had hyper armor on every single attack. Everything. Just about everything. You have hyper armor on an execution. What What are we doing here? You guys went to college? Like, what are we, what are we doing? They went to college to develop this game, but yet we're giving hyper armor... On an execution? What? What what are, what are we playing here? 
I, I, I honestly don't know. Like, you, you complain about Shinobi's bullshit hyper armor kick, but then you have Hidokiri who had hyper armor on everything, including an execution. I, I, I don't understand. Just it just make, doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so so we're gonna complain about um we're gonna complain about Shinobi's bullshit backflip. All right, let's uh let's make it where you know he he can still he still has to deal with some of the bullshit makes us right. Okay, cool, got it. All right, well, let's go ahead and bring uh. Let's go ahead and bring in uh shit. I mean, you could you could say fucking what's his name? Uh JJ. You could pull up JJ. Bam. We want to talk about people not being able to do anything to to the backflip, and then you got JJ, he steps back and bam, you miss an attack. It it was, I mean, maybe the range was a little bit, you know, too much. Okay, cool. Fine. Okay. We got the quad dash. Oh, the quad dash is way too much, too much, too much, too much potential. But then you have Orochi and now the pirate with dodge cancels. I'm I'm not, what, 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 what are we playing here? Are we playing the same game? Like, this has to be for honor, right? Like, we, we have to be playing the same game here. You just complained about Shinobi doing all this dodging around, but then you turn around and give someone... Dodge cancels. Literally, literally, literally not. It, I mean, it was it was a go. It was long ago, but it wasn't that many characters. Next, I I I don't understand. You complained about Shinobi having all this dodging. I guess maybe they said the complaint was he could dodge it and dodge into a deflect, but then you turn around and give it to Orochi. I'm I'm not understanding. I, I I really don't. So we did that. Then we're gonna talk about oh Shinobi doesn't deserve to have range heavies. He doesn't deserve to have range heavies. But then we have a pirate with a gun. What? Like what 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 are we playing here? What are we playing here? And I know somebody who's just playing the character now and this is gonna be their new main. You you have to you have to do an attack. It's not like you're just shooting someone. Okay, how many matches have we played now with the pirate? I'm pretty sure people are annoyed at this point. It, it goes like this every every time there's a new character, you know, or rework. Everybody's oh the character's fun. I like this character. Okay, I like the character. You get a few weeks after the um after the first set of people can do it, the exclusiveness is gone. Once everyone's allowed to get it, you give about two weeks after that. So probably about a month, month and a half. Watch the Reddit. Watch the Reddit gonna blow up. This character's so overpowered. This character's busted. This character's broken. It happens all the time. It happens all the time because people don't actually sit here and, and, and think about the character. Right? I, I've, I've played the character. i played against the character quite a few times now. I think we all have. I don't think we've had a choice. We've all did it. So, at this point... My confusion with this character is why okay, let me let me just slow down. Okay. Okay. So there's three mechanics. There's the unblockable, there's hyper armor, and there's undodgeables. Okay. This character has a dodge forward heavy with hyper armor, tracks you across the screen. You can't roll. You can't try to run away from it. While it has hyper armor, it is also unblockable. Let me let me add this. It can dodge cancel to another one or any other move. Just just let that let that sit for a little bit. Now someone's gonna say the character's really not that bad. The character's really not that bad. How many times I've guaranteed you you said it at least one time when you played against that character, the character's broken. I, I know by this point you're sick of fighting this character. You have to ask yourself why you're actually sick of fighting this character. Why? Why? I'm going to tell you why you're probably sick of fighting this character. Maybe because 
if the character doesn't even land a heavy, they can still get 14 damage from a shotgun, from a shot out of a gun. Let that sit. Let that sit. What other character in the entire game can do that? It, essentially what it is, is it's 14 damage of chip. That's essentially what it is. That is equivalent to your light attack. That's that's what it is. That that's that's I mean literally that's literally what it is. You literally just got hit. You literally just got hit with 14 damage of chip. Oh, they're gonna say, oh, you, you can parry it. Oh, period. Okay, so let's let's just say you, you do your dodge for it heavy that's unblockable and has hyper armor and you can't run from it, right? You try to parry, oh, you get soft into a guard break. You land it heavy from the guard break, now you're getting shot in the stomach. You see where we're going here? And then the combo keeps going and going and going and going. I, I don't understand. You, you complain about a bash off, everyone complains about bashes being annoying, but it's only fun when you're the one doing it. If that makes sense. People only have fun when you're the one doing it. I don't I don't understand. I don't get it. But we're gonna move on. We're gonna we're gonna move on though. My last one is the boring game modes. The boring game modes. Um I'm just gonna go a quick list of it. Breach, absolutely too long. You don't get enough XP to be sitting in there that long. Absolutely too long. It's you may get one, two matches. By the third match, you're like, I don't want to play this shit anymore. I don't. It's too long. It, it's it's too long. Don't get me wrong. It's fun for the first match or maybe two. If you're not playing with anybody, you're not having a good time. I can assure you. Almost 90% of the time, you're not enjoying yourself whatsoever. Not in breach. Not in breach. You know why? Because for the 20 to 30 minutes you're playing that game mode, you're stuck with the same character. Now, let's say let's say you accidentally clicked the wrong character. Well, better get comfortable getting your ass with for the next 20 to 30 minutes. I mean, you literally sit in that match for like, it feels hours. Just to get to the end and lose. And lose. Because it all depends on which side you're on. You ha Eve, you could have a super team. But because someone's on the opposite side and they're on the right team, you know, they're going to win. I'm referring to the attacker versus defenders. It's just entirely too long. That's that's the only thing really with it, really with it. I mean, it's it's fun. Like I said, it's fun for the first match or two. But after that, it's it's too long to be stuck with the same character. Tribute, completely dead. Just remove it. Just remove Tribute. Replace that already. Replace it. You know what they could do? I'm going to save that for another video. I'm going to save that for another video. Because I actually do have another video where I want to bring up things that they can implement in the game to bring this game back. But I'm going to save that for another video. Um, Yeah, just remove it. Just remove tribute. It doesn't belong in the game. No one plays it. It's over. It's really not fun. I mean, I the the time I played it, it was when it was, you would barely get people, and that's when I had a full full squad to play with. You don't got a full squad to play with like most people. You're not finding a match. Just get rid of it. Uh, the death match and the skirmish, I actually like that. It, it's pretty cool. Like you know, it, it, it's it's pretty cool. You don't get a lot of XP for it. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty cool. The matches don't last too long. You're in and out. You swap between different characters. And actually, I actually got better playing in Deathmatch than I did in any other game mode. And I'm going to tell you why. I got better in Deathmatch because you have four four people per team. In Deathmatch, <clears throat> there really is no meta. You just use whoever you want and whoever you're good with. Why? You don't have to bounce back to point to point. You don't have to worry about fighting for an objective. The only thing you need to do... It's, it's just use your character and fight. That's it. You just If you don't know how to fight, you're not going to enjoy it. You, you're not. I, I had a friend who, who used to he used to play with me all the time. He hated Deathmatch. He hated it. 
Absolutely hated it. He would love to play Dominion because he didn't like to be dead and just sitting there and watching the whole time. But I guarantee you, after dying so many times with the same character, the same combo, eventually you're going to understand what to do in that situation. And that's why I got better. Four people per team, and there's two teams, you're going to see you're going to see pretty much everything you need to know for each character without having to go through and break down each character in training mode. It's only helping you in the long run. That's why I ended up getting better. I ended up getting better by playing Deathmatch. Because after seeing, after, after getting stomped by Raider a thousand times, like, oh shit, I don't have to do this anymore. I need to stop doing this. Oh, bam, getting kicked to grab span by Highlander. Oh, I know what I can do now. I can just do this. Oh, if I, if I do this, I know what he's going to do. You know, it, it, it kind of goes into that. You got brawls, which is hit or miss if you find anybody. It's okay. You just don't get any XP for it. I mean, if you're going to do brawl, mostly we just do duels because it's, if not faster, slightly faster, and you get about the same XP. There's really no point to do brawls, really. Um, duels, I mean, it's a duel. You know, it, it's quick. Five, five minutes if you're short on time. You're in and out. My main one that I have a problem with is Dominion. Dominion, Dominion, Dominion is a problem. For me personally, now some people love Dominion and whatnot. Okay, cool. But like I said, everything ties, all these all these topics tie into each other. I have a problem with the Dominion because of the three things that I stated before. The hero issues, the bullshit revenge system, and the contradicting nerves all ruin that game mode for me. Completely ruin it. Why? Everyone's playing the same four to six characters. All they do is gank, knowing the revenge system is complete bullshit, and there's nothing you can do about it because the game won't reward you for something. And, you know, then you fighting someone, you realize, wait a minute, he can do that, but they just nerfed my shit, and I can't do that. Why would I play this character anymore? Cool, I'm going to go jump on the bandwagon and join your character. And then it just feeds into the bullshit of people playing the same damn character. That That's literally what it is. I mean, my main problem with Dominion is it's literally just captured flag. You don't have to fight anybody. I mean, how many times have we played a Dominion match and we see a full team or they're just sitting there? They're all, they're all just sitting there. Or you're playing Dominion and you got your team or half your team just sitting on A. Just sitting on A, emoting. In the little emo rocking chair, just sitting, looking stupid. They're just sitting there. They're literally just sitting there, not doing anything. Now, I'm not the type of guy to, come on, guys, we got to win the game. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that at all. I like to enjoy my game too. Don't get me wrong. But it's an issue where every single time I play Dominion, I am in a 1v3 situation. Don't get me wrong. I love 1v3 situations, but the revenge system is complete bullshit, so I hate it now. But it's it's annoying when every fight I get into, I start a fight, and the next thing you know is half the team fighting me, and then I'm not getting revenge, even though I'm getting a parry or two. I'm blocking. I might dodge a bash. I'm not getting anything. Absolutely nothing. My team is across the, the team is across the screen. And at the end of the game, at the end of the game, I'm at the bottom of the leaderboards. That's the main thing for me. I'm at the bottom of the leaderboards. If you play an assassin in Dominion, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, they might have fixed it a little bit and it it no. It, it's still it's still stupid. Because as an assassin, you are really only rewarded for getting a 1v1. How often do you get a 1v1 in Dominion? Almost never. Never. It isn't like you get a huge bonus for getting ganked either. Nope. You're not Kensei. Nope, you're not a Vanguard. You're not a Raider. You're not. They get the bonus for that. Why? They have the health for it. That's, that's, what, that's what it says in the game. That's literally what it says in the game. Earn more renown in outnumber fights by controlling objectives and killing enemy soldiers to unlock feats in a match. That's it. You lose points as an assassin for ganking someone. Let that sink in. I mean, most of the assassins aren't even good at, at team fights anyway. They're not. They're really not. I, I just, I don't, I don't understand. It just really makes it not fun for people who play anything other than like the main core players, the more the uh, core heroes. 
I mean, because most of the core heroes are all heavier characters. Raider, Shigoki, those are the really big ones right there. The pirate, everyone's playing the pirate right now. Everybody. God forbid you run into a, a fucking black fire, which is another thing, but I'm going to leave that for another video. I hate that character completely. He just, he's complete. He's a complete mess. Complete, complete bullshit. But we're going to save that for another video. I mean, that that's a couple right there. That's, what, three I just named right there? Raider, Shigoki, Black Pryor, everyone's playing those three. You go into any Dominion match, those three you're going to see. Obviously the Pyre right now, but that's just for right now. But you go into any Dominion match or a Breach match, you're going to see those three. Literally. Like, I just... I don't know, man. I don't know. I would like to see things change. For for Dominion personally, I honestly would like to see, like, like there should be there should be a, a heavier point system for people who are getting kills. Honestly, if if they just change the revenge system to be more consistent, it would be so much better. Honestly, it's just too much, too much ganking, too many good team fighters in the in the game of the cast right now to be not getting revenge. I mean, how many times before the pirate came out, how many times have you went against anybody in Dominion match and all of a sudden a raider pops up and you're getting instant deleted? It, you're deleted. You have no chance. Uh, yeah, he's got nerfed a little bit, but he's still, he still, he does a lot of damage. You know, I'm not saying he, he should get a nerf. I'm just saying he does a lot of damage. Really good team fighter. Shigoki, you cannot, you cannot not, not respect this guy. There's no way you're not going to respect the Shigoki or Raider in a team fight. If they swing that, if you see an unblockable symbol, your eyeballs are going to that part of the screen. No matter who is in front of you. It could be three people in front of you trying to bash you. You're not dodging until you watch that unblockable. That that's how the game is right now. And if they're gonna constantly change things, okay, cool. You need to change or revert things to make things make sense. Why are we playing a game of Dominion? Everyone's using the same four to six characters who are probably all super duper good at team fight. There's a bullshit revenge system, it's not gonna give you any revenge. And you're constantly getting deleted. And they don't even have to fight you. They don't. Because the points don't mean the points for kills don't mean shit. They don't. I could be an, I'm I'm literally a shinobi. I can get 10 plus kills a game. And I'll still only have 240 points. Why? My team hit the guy while I was killing him. Literally, that's it. Literally. That's it. But yeah, that's it, man. I, I think this video is long enough. Um, I'm going to do more videos in the future. Um, still working on um, that advanced for honor guy. Um, I will make another video uh, soon about what I think they should add into the game to make this game even better. Because uh, I honestly think I have some pretty good ideas. Um, so yeah, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, hit the sub button. Really appreciate it, man. Thank y'all for coming out, man. I'm True Out Gaming. I don't wrap it up for you. I don't shoot it for you. I just get that shit to you out, man. Thank you.